I've been working on a new textbook that teaches how to create a multiplayer game for virtual reality using the Calisius uh, server backend. So one of the projects that I wanted to do is create a virtual reality tank game and use the new character controller as a part of that because the character controller has a lot of neat features uh, rather than going with the traditional rigid body and applying physics to it. So in, I wanted to create a quick tutorial on how to create and use the character creator. I'm using Universal Rendering Pipeline inside Unity, uh, URP, instead of HDRP or the traditional 3D. Uh, URP is perf perfect for creating mobile or virtual reality type projects. So in this project, let's go ahead and quickly create a simple uh, character creator and use and add the movement scripts to that. that that's what was lacking uh, when I opened URP and created my character creator. It's like, where's, where's the movement scripts? You know, that this should be standardized. It is standardized, but they're not in URP. So let's go ahead and pull those from HDRP and add those to URP. So I've got a simple board here that you can see. Um, it's got a cube in it for the main player right now. I've added my camera. The camera is off of the player and I've turned off the simple camera controller script which just simply moves the camera and not the player. But I wanted something a little bit more robust than what the simple camera did. So to get your scripts that you're going to need for this open up an HDRP game or HDRP as if you're going to create a new game and inside the there you'll find a beautiful scene uh, it's you know, Unity is making huge advancements in the rendering technology with the 2020, and I can't wait to see what happens with the 2021 version where they're really going to even make it even better. So I've got my in the HDRP launch of Unity, and this is just the demo sample scene project. I've got my player controller FPS system. Included with that is a player movement script and attached to the camera is a look with mouse script. Now if you go over here to your assets, go to your scripts, there's your player movement, your look with mouse. Uh, all you have to do is go to the folder where this this was created or you can just simply copy these over. Um, so I, I've already got them. Um, in, in my scene I'm going back to my multiplayer demo project and it, I've copied the scripts player movement and look with mouse over to that. So let's add those real quick. With your main camera, drag the look with mouse into the main camera for the controller and it wants to know the player's body. So we're going to add the player's body, which is player. There we go. Player body is added. Now we've got that taken care of for the the look around from the script is going to look from the the, the cube itself. I'm then going to go to the player, drag the player movement over to that. There's a couple things to add to that. First of all, we need to add the character controller, which is which I haven't added yet. Let's do that real quick. Go to component, physics, character controller. Now character controller is added to my scene and we'll drag that onto the controller. So the character controller is for my player. And then we also need to do a ground check. Um, in the HDRP, if you look at that, ground check actually goes to just uh, an empty object. Instead of an empty object for that, I'm going to set it to my ground in inside my game board, the ground plane. There we go. And we should be set and ready to play with this. So that's all that really is. That to, If you use the player movement script and look with mouse, you've got basic scripting already done to take care of movement of your object including jump, run, and be able to go up an incline of 45 degrees. Of course you can adjust that. That's all built into it which is why I wanted to use the character controller. I wanted to be able to go up inclines with the uh, or slopes with, with my character in, in this uh, game that I'm creating. So you might need to adjust the camera to get it view the way you want it to, whether it's first person or third person. I prefer third person for something like this. So let's launch this and there we go. And now I can move around 
the scene and using the mouse for control and as you can see that's working just fine so that's all it is that that's how simple it is to be able to do it and look with mouse script from HDRP and add the player movement with your character controller and you've got control movement added to any character inside the the thing I did it with a simple cube but you could do it with a much more complex humanoid in inside your game so good luck with this if you got any questions make sure you comment down below and if you're interested in learning more about the multiplayer textbook that is coming out very very soon uh, check out my website burtonsmediagroup.com